Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Minecraft, specifically Minecraft Java Edition with your friends. We're going to be going over a few different methods and a few different ways to play Java Edition with your friends. Kind of starting with the easiest method and then more moving to the more difficult or niche methods to where you might have to be in the same house to be able to play Minecraft with your friends. We're going to be going over it all in this video. So let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. So the three methods that we're going to be covering here is one, playing on a public server. Two, starting a server yourself, either with Apex Minecraft hosting or a, you know, remote server host or on your own computer. We have tutorials on both those. We're going to kind of dive into some of that here in this video. And then third, a LAN world or a LAN server. And basically that allows your friends to play in your Minecraft world, your Minecraft single player world, but you have to be on the same internet connection for that to work, right? So we're going to be going over all of this in this video, kind of going over every step by step of doing this. So first and foremost, the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends is going to be on a public server. How do you do this? Well, first you need to find a public server. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to join our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. There we have incredible grief protected survival. We have factions. We have Skyblock. It's incredible. But if you do want a list of five amazing servers, we do have a video on that in the description down below. Here it is. This is our top five servers of 2020, as you can see here. So you can go here, go through this list. You'll be able to see five awesome servers that you can play on. On. Play it on .com is one of them. This is our aquatic survival here. But how do you join these servers? Well, it's pretty simple. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. The current version is 1.16.1, but I guarantee this won't be changing in the future. So once you're here, just go ahead and click on multiplayer and then click on add server down here in the bottom right. Now you can name this whatever you want. I would recommend just naming it the server that you're playing on. So in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. The IP of this server is in the description down below, by the way. And then the server address is going to be play.breakdowncraft.com, right? So as you can see, play.breakdowncraft.com is the name. The server address is also play.breakdowncraft.com. This doesn't have to be capitalized, by the way. I just always do that out of habit. And then click done. And when you do that, boom, there it is. A server pops up, play.breakdowncraft.com. You can see there are currently 158 players online. And to join this server, just click on this like play button right here. When you click on that play button, it's going to go ahead and log right on in. And here we are in the lobby of Breakdown Craft. As you can see, there is Skyblock. If you want to play that, you would just right-click on this avatar here. Aquatic Survival, guess what? Right-click on that avatar. Medieval Survival, right-click on that avatar. And then Factions, right-click on that avatar, be it Factions is in between Seasons. Seasons 2 of Factions launch tomorrow, so there's zero players online, but nevertheless, Tomorrow, there'll be a ton of players on factions because Season 2 launches. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and right-click on Medieval Survival, and we can, like, log right into either of these servers. We'll log into Medieval Northvale here. So, this is basically just one of our Medieval servers. There are a ton of servers on Breakdown Craft, as you saw. I'm not going to make this too much about Breakdown Craft, but you can play with your friends on this server. They can join in in this same world as you, and as you can see, there are currently on Medieval Northville, this server, 28 people online. If you played on Aquatic Survival, there are 50 players there. Our Asgard Medieval Survival, we have two Medieval servers. Asgard has 25 players, Skyblock 56, and Factions usually around 30 to 50 players, depending on the day, and well, I mean, like I said, zero right now because Season 2 is launching tomorrow. But nevertheless, that is play.breakdowncraft.com, and that's the easiest way to play on a server, right? So, as you can see here, we can disconnect and then come back and add other servers by clicking Add Server down here, typing in, you know, the name of the IP, so this would be Server IP, and then you can type in the IP again here, Server IP, and then click Done, and it will join on into the server, and it'll play right here. You can have as many servers as here as you want, Breakdown Craft, Hypixel, Mindplex, whatever servers you wanted to add in there, Skycade, you can add all of those in here and play on all of them as much or as little with you want, with or without your friends. Your friends can join all of these servers, as can anyone else. So that is a great way to to play with your friends on Breakdown Craft. We can share claims, you can do things like that, share factions together, share Skyblock Islands together. It's designed to play with your friends, and most servers are like that. But what if you don't want to play with your friends in that way? You want to have kind of control over the environment you're playing with your friends on. Well, that's going to be a server, right? And specifically, Apex Minecraft hosting is the easiest way to set up a server. This is not the only way to set up a server. If you want to set up a server 100% for free, you can do that using the link in the description down below. There's a link down there on how to start a server. If you click on that, it will take you to our in-depth guide showing you how to start a Minecraft server, how to make a Minecraft server. However, Apex is the easiest way to do it, and someone like Apex or another remote server host is going to be the best way 
in order to start a server and make it public, right? If you start a server using the link in the description down below, it's not meant to be public. It's only meant for your friends and things like that. On top of that, it's hosted on your own computer, all this stuff. I cover that more in depth in that video. So if you want to have kind of control over your server environment, go check out that video and it's going to help you out. It's going to show you everything that you need to know to kind of get the server up and running, whether you do it, you know, yourself on your own computer, using your own computer's hardware and all that, or whether you get a server through Apex. We actually host play.breakdowncraft.com. This server right here, it's hosted on Apex Minecraft hosting. So we put our money where our mouth is. That's why we promote Apex. They're sponsoring this video. They are incredible. So go check out Apex if you do want a server quickly and easily. As you can see here, get started in less than five minutes. That's 100% true. And yeah, overall, a great service, a great system for starting a Minecraft server. You can also do it free using the link in the description down below. That's our in-depth tutorial on that. But nevertheless, that is the way that you can control the server experience. You can have plugins on your server. You can have mods. Anything you want on your server, you will have 100% control over that. Now, what if you want your friends to be able to play on your single player world though, right? If we click on a single player here, we've got a few different things. Let's say we wanted to play this Bastion parkour map with our friends, right? Let's say that's something we wanted to do. Well, how could we do that? Well, we're going to go ahead and open up. I know what I'm doing. It's just the first time I've opened this world in a while. But nonetheless, we're going to launch into here. And if we wanted to play this parkour map with our friends, what we would do is we would go ahead and open it to land. How do we do that? Well, we go ahead and hit the escape button here. And then we have this open to land button. You see that? When you click on open to land, you get a few options. You want this to be survival or do you want it to be creative or spectator, right? So you have creative, adventure, spectator, or survival. We'll leave it survival. You want to allow cheats. If you turn cheats on, you're going to be able to go into creative and things like that. If you want to ever enter creative mode in a single player world that doesn't have cheats, just open it up to land and allow cheats and you'll be able to do that. I'm actually going to allow cheats here just because it's going to be easier for me to show you later on. You can leave that on or off. It does not matter. It's not going to affect this process at all. Nevertheless, whenever we are in here, we can go ahead and do start land world. And then you'll notice down here in the bottom left, local game hosted on port 59318, right? Just a random number. It's not going to be the same number most likely, but local game hosted. Awesome. That means someone who is connected to the exact same internet as you, right? The same Wi-Fi can join this single player game now, right? So I'm opening up my other account here and we're going to join this other account in. So if we go ahead and hit tab, I believe. Does tab work? No, I think someone has to join the game for that to work. But nonetheless, when we join on in here, you'll be able to see that we are in fact joined this server together. We're playing together on the same server. So my you know, computer's lagging a bit a little bit because I'm opening up another Minecraft client. I'm just going to do a quick jump cut until I've got two Minecraft clients open and then we'll be good to go. All right, there we are. We have this Minecraft client open as well as this one in the background. We'll kind of pull both of these up on screen, kind of do a wider shot here to be able to show both of these on screen. And if we go into multiplayer here, right there it is, LAN World, you'll see the username right there. And then you'll see Bastion Parkour or whatever the name of your single player world is, right? That's what's gonna be there. And anyone who is connected to your Wi-Fi, right? The same internet that you're on, down to like the same router, the same Wi-Fi. If you're on a wire connection, that's fine and they can be on Wi-Fi, but you have to be connected to the same router for this to work. But you can see the LAN world there. They can double click on that and they'll join in. As you can see, Nick's Games joined the game. And now if we hit tab, you can see Nick King and Nick's Games there. And hey, there's the other account. It is joining on it over here. It's just a little laggy because again, I'm recording and running two Minecraft clients, but if we turn around, there we are. I can crouch on this account, come over to this account right here and crouch and you'll be able to see that on the other account. Pretty simple stuff. And that's how you can join your friend's single player world in Minecraft. So there you have it. Those are kind of the three different methods of playing with your friends in Minecraft. You can either join a public server like play.breakdowncraft.com. You can either start a server yourself using the free method in the description down below or quickly and easily with someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting. And then you can also play a single player world with your friends that are on the same Wi-Fi, on the same internet connection as you, using a LAN world. Those are the three basic ways you can play with your friends in Minecraft Java Edition. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Faction Season 2 is now live. Come check it out. It's absolutely incredible. So nevertheless, I can't wait to see you online. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.